Welcome to another studio vlog. So I'm going to pack a few orders um, but yeah I just thought I'd have a little chat with you as well first. So I thought I would just talk about how my shop is doing and like sales and things like that because I've heard from lots of other people that their sales are down at the moment. My sales have been like they've been steady but they have been a little bit less um, in the last couple of months. And I think it is just because the summer months, like if you have an online shop, sales do go down. Um, I don't know if that's similar if you're like a massive like company. But yeah, I just thought that I would let you know that because if you're going through like low sales at the moment, you might think that you're the only person going through it. So I just thought I'd let you know, you're not alone. And I think it is kind of normal for this time. It is massively hot today. I thought it might also be like fun and interesting if I shared what my like sales were for the different months. My shop isn't actually that old. I, even though I think it says on Etsy that I started my shop in 2016, but if you want to go and like watch my, is it that side or that side, my like Etsy journey, you can go and watch that. But basically I started off doing Christmas card designs. So I was only really selling like in December and like a little bit of the lead up to Christmas. I only sold like a few things to like friends and family to start with. I've only really been working on it since around this time last year. So I thought I would have a look at my stats from last year. In January, January and February of last year, I had like one sale in January and one sale in February. So I was not doing well at all. Then of course, like, Covid happened, I didn't know what was going on, nobody knew what was going on obviously and so I closed my shop and then like after that I decided actually it's okay I can run my shop and I decided to launch some new enamel pins and I hadn't done anything new for my shop for a while, um, I hadn't made any new pins for a while and yeah I did the floral caps and they went down really well and and yeah, that was around this time last year. So I think, it, yeah, it was around June. And then suddenly I think I had like 40 sales throughout June, which was like four times the amount of sales. Four times the amount of sales. I'm just interrupting to say, Emma, that's not how times tables work. <laughs> One times four is four. You mean 40 times, you do not mean four times. One times 40 is 40, okay. Cool. Because I remember last year just having so many sales, like in comparison to what I was used to as well. But yeah, then July 54, August 53, September was when my shop really started to do well. I think I'd had another shop update, I'd done the Woodlands Animal Pins, and it was just also like the lead up to Christmas and also people were inside more so maybe like shopping a bit more but yeah September I had 85 October I had 100 November 179 and then December 104 to some shops 100 sales is maybe going to be their slow period so 
it is kind of like all relative isn't it but for me starting off the year having one sale and then ending on 100 sales and then yeah this year i actually in january and february i was still kind of doing all right january was 81 february 85 march and april and may were all about the same like 55 57 sales but yeah i just thought that, that would be interesting because I don't always share the like, specific numbers of sales and I mean it's going to be a little bit skewed because some of my like orders will have more than one thing, sometimes it might just be a sticker sheet, sometimes it might be a set of like three pins or set of six pins or something like that. So that, that was really interesting having a look at the statistics. And just reminding myself like how far I've come. I hope that that's kind of interesting to hear. But yeah, let me know how your shop is doing at the moment as well. I don't feel like discouraged at all because the sales are still coming in. There's just, there's a little bit less, but it's kind of expected that sales, you know, throughout the year, there's going to be some periods of time when you're going to get more sales, obviously, like the lead up to Christmas and stuff. And I'd be really interested to see like going forwards, like in a year or like five years time or whatever, how my shop is doing and kind of how it changes from like month to month. I think that would be really interesting. Oh, the other thing that really made me smile today is I saw that somebody has bought something from my shop and they're a repeat buyer and this is the third time that they've come back to my shop. So that, yeah, feels really special and it's really nice to see that people like your stuff enough <laughs> to like come back and get it again. Yeah, I just wanted to have this little chat to again let you know that you're not alone if you are going through like a slow period. I feel like I should give you some advice and maybe give myself some advice as well of things to do. Um, I guess more promoting, like reminding people that your products exist is always a good idea. Regardless of if you've got low sales or lots of sales, it's always good to remind people that things exist because usually they'll be like, oh, I haven't, I didn't know you did that product. And I've been planning for ages on doing a second sale because I've been kind of like holding on to a lot of seconds. I know sometimes people, they want to sell the seconds at the same time as their first. And I have done that occasionally, but I just, yeah, I quite like selling most of the firsts first, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, I've been meaning to like sort through all my seconds and do the listings for that. So I think I'm actually gonna do that in this vlog. The other thing that I've been talking about and I keep putting off and I don't know why I'm putting it off is doing prints. And yeah, these are gonna be like print on demand drop shipping prints, meaning that I'm not gonna get a whole load of them ordered, have them in my house and then send them off to you. Sometimes prints can be a little bit hit and miss and in the past I have bought a load of prints and they've sat around for ages. With that in mind, yeah, I'm gonna do like a drop shipping prints. Yeah, it just means that somebody else will be packing them up, but I do want to see what the quality of the print is like and yeah, how the colors print and stuff. So I think I'm going to actually finally order some samples of those this week. That is the plan. I've said it now. <laughs> if you've also got some seconds that you've been holding on to, you could do a second sale. Um, you could look at doing some more products and definitely print on demand could be useful if you wanna like test out some new products and then you don't have to be investing that money like back into stock. You don't need to like pay for a whole load of like new inventory and, and stuff like that. Anyway, I've been waffling on lots. I'm gonna package these orders and yeah, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> this is so rambly. Um, also hello to anybody who is watching the premiere. I actually did my, well kind of my first premiere on the last studio vlog 
and I was actually surprised that like lots of people came and it was really lovely and we had a nice chat. So if you're watching the premiere, hello, thank you for coming. And if you missed the premiere, don't worry because I'm gonna be doing the premieres every time I do a studio vlog, which is every two weeks at the moment, by the way. Anyway, enough waffling, let's pack these orders. Here is the random haul section of the vlog. I have two things that are not art related, but maybe you might be interested in. Is this camera really wonky? It probably is. Nothing really very new there. So first of all, I have got some tea. <laughs> I haven't opened this yet, it's just arrived, but I'm taking my address off. I've gone a little bit tea crazy recently. Also, I actually have a tea currently, which is full so I might not try these right now but I'll show you what I've got anyway Ooh. okay oh. right let's clear this oh my goodness look at all the teas Look at this packaging. This is fun. I have got a lot. I actually, I've got these like little single ones. These are actually like they do a free sort of like sample pack where you can get like various different ones. Um, but you do pay, I think it's like one or two pounds for the postage. So I went on there, I saw they were doing these free samples and then I saw that actually loads of these were half price and I was like oh what if it's half price anyway these are the freebies that I got oh can I eat the grapefruit one I'm not allowed to eat grapefruit although it doesn't actually seem to have grapefruit in it anyway these are all the freebies some of them I did actually get as like a big packet as well got a rhubarb compote this one sounds really fun this is a Vanilla tiramisu, banana rice pudding, raspberry panna cotta, sundown dinner mint, passion sorbet, and an ooh la la vanilla. <laughs> this sounds like a strange combination, but I actually like, I've recently been kind of getting into licorice tea. Yeah, so these all look really, really fun. I will maybe give you a verdict on how they taste later on because like I said I've already got a massive cup of tea to get through so I'll give you the update later and then the other thing that I have got is this from the Eco Witch so these are some candles that I've bought and this is run by a lady called Charlotte and she's bought my pins before um, and I follow her on Instagram so I thought it was about time that I get some of her candles Ooh, smells nice. Smells nice already. Mm. Oh, it's nice. It's like a little stamp. 
in here? Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, she's put in a little gift. These are soy candles. So that tells you how long it's gonna burn for. And like safety info and stuff. I feel like this might be like a lemon or something. It smells so nice. It's really nice. Oh, there's two different ones. Hang on. I'm not sure what the flowers are, but they kind of look, they look similar, similar to like chamomile or something. And then this looks like cloves. Yeah, this one smells quite spicy. I'll have to ask her which flavors she gave me. Or maybe I can work it out on her website. So this is the spring lavender. These ones were a little bit cheaper because I think she's updated some of her candles and like added more like bits, like um, either she, I think she's changed the flavors a little bit or she's like added like some flowers and things on the top. So these might all look the same, but they smell different. So that's the spring lavender. This is a sweet vanilla. So again, this, <laughs> it looks the same, but let me, uh, hang on, let me show you my face. But yeah, because these all look the same, I thought I'd give you <laughs> like my reaction to smelling them. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this because I'll probably just look silly. It smells so nice. Yeah, so this is the sweet vanilla. Yeah, it just smells like really nice and fresh. And last one, I think I got an orange one. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I got an orange spice. Oh, so this one has actually got a bit of a like different colour to it. It's orangey and it's spicy. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't be a very good like, you know when they do like the different like wine tasting or like when someone describes what like food tastes like, but yeah, that is just orangey and spicy. It, like, it's quite a kind of Christmassy smell. So maybe I will, leave i mean i know you can have spicy things all year round but i think maybe i'll start with these ones first of all particularly i think the lavender might be quite a good one for now anyway um yeah i will leave the links to both of those shops in the description if you want to go and check them out and yeah i'll give you an update on what tea i like best later on in the video
points do I have? I have two points. I have zero. I haven't so done you my... have three points. I haven't done my school yet. Oh, three. So you're gonna have four. <gasps> I'm gonna have four. I'm winning. I'm Let's winning. I'm winning. Tom has just passed me a paintbrush. Um, I didn't even tell you what it was for. <laughs> yeah, but I know what it. I know what it's for. So it's not to do some painting. Um, it is for the strawberries. Let me give you a strawberry update. The strawberries have pink flowers. Yay, so cute. And we got another one coming. Looks really, really pretty. Um, and I think it might have been Jennifer that was asking when we did the premiere. Um, yeah, when we did the premiere, I think it was Jennifer that was asking, do we need to pollinate them? And yes, we do. So what do I do, Tom? I just lightly brush it with a... Paintbrush. Buzz. Buzz, buzz. Is this enough? Yeah. And then now I brush this other one that's around here. Is this this one the petals are kind of coming off? Is that okay still? Yeah. Or is that one a bit too late? They may be sunk further, wouldn't they? Oh. But it, even things that are sunk further, they generally need winds to or a bee. You're and they still need a spread of pollen, but Sap fertile yeah. things can pollinate themselves, but they still need pollinating. Here you go. Full house. Full house. without me. How dare he be very helpful. <laughs> I want to paint too but currently I'm in a nice dress. Also cute socks. Okay, Tom is speeding along. Am I gonna have anything left to paint? <laughs> I found a roller. And I have changed. This one's broken. It's supposed to be extendable. <gasps> and that's broken and it keeps coming up to Oh no. You're doing a good job though. It's a nice colour, isn't it? I know you are unconvinced. Mm -hmm. But for now, don't take this I... bit. I want to see it white. I think it will be fine. Yeah. Well, I need some headphones. I need some tunes or a podcast or an audiobook. I don't know. Oh no, you can't. I did the, uh, the thing in. Emma, yes. Oh, her. <laughs> well, my eyes <laughs> Where can I paint? Jeff, you go over there. I just need it for the film. Okay. I can't get a good angle on that one. I'll do that corner in a minute. Okay, wash it up and... No, no, I'm going to do the corner over here. I'm actually going to do something. I am actually... I'm just scared about video. No, I just... I can't... I'm using... This is my tripod and I couldn't angle it at a good angle to see me in this corner. So... This is as much as I've painted. But I am actually going to paint this corner. But I just don't have a good thing to balance this on, so... I'll show you afterwards. So this is what it looks like so far. It does need another coat maybe a couple of coats. But yeah, it's a really nice color. It's, um, you can just about, there's lots of paint on it. It is this color, sage. It's quite a minty color. Oh, it's so blurry. Oh, I'm really pink. Am I actually this pink? I'm blurry. <laughs> wow. Hello. 
There we go. Why am I so pink? Am I just hot? Or is it the this strange lighting? That's better. Not quite so pink now. Um, I'm feeling self-conscious because <laughs> I thought it would be good to show you how the room looks now after its first coat of paint. And um, we currently don't have curtains. Um, <laughs> in this room and I'm like standing in front of the window like right next to the window just to get some good lighting and and now I'm thinking oh, what if my neighbours start walking past and just see me talking to a camera uh, anyway I like the colour is all I was basically trying to say yeah it's a sage colour but it's sort of a little bit minty Tom as you probably saw has painted a bit more than me I'm a little bit slower than him and he's just quite efficient at lots of DIY stuff. I'm gonna eat some banana ice cream now because I made some the other day. My parents actually came over, I think that was last Sunday. Yeah, so my parents came over. They haven't come around to my house for a long time, like pre-COVID. So yeah, it was really nice to see them and I made this banana ice cream. So there's like a tiny little bit of it left. And maybe in another video, I might make some banana ice cream. But yeah, I'll probably show you how to make it at some point because it was amazing. So I think I will share that with you. So there is a little bit left here. This one is cherry, cherry and almond actually. I put some like almond extracts in. There is not much of the chocolate one left. <laughs> it's it's come out really good. And the, yeah, it's just blended bananas. And then this has got, it's got like a bit of vanilla extract in, some maple syrup, and then this one's got like cocoa powder. Um, yeah, I already said that one's got cherries, but I'm gonna eat some of this. Nom, nom, nom. Hello, uh, it is, is it Tuesday? I can't even remember what day it is. I've been working downstairs today because it's just so hot in my room and it's just a bit nicer downstairs and I'm just editing my illustrations which I feel like I've been doing for ages <laughs> I just I just have a lot to get through yeah I've just been editing my illustrations this is for the mother seagull and the ocean king picture book in case you're new and you've got no idea what I'm talking about this is what I'm working on Charging my pencil a little bit whilst I chat. I am watching Gilmore Girls. Watching them again from the beginning. <laughs> I'm on episode four. So this is what I'm working on. I am currently in Procreate. And I've been using the 6B pencil because I just want to kind of accentuate a few things so I really want these kind of like towers to stand out more and it's kind of difficult against the blue so I've just sort of added this shadow I haven't quite finished it I need to do one on this one as well and yeah I'm basically just going in zooming in seeing if there's any bits that I need to like clean up any little kind of specks and stuff yeah just if anything like if the lines need clear cleaning up if anything's a bit kind of smudgy or weird I added this shadow thing here I drew that on in Procreate I seem to have missed a few lines here uh, so I will add that on but I might actually make all of these lines here of these kind of like tile things a bit darker but yeah I'm just basically cleaning it up and then seeing if it needs anything else to you know make it pop or make it cleaner or something also I learned something on Procreate because one of you lovely lot told me that if I press this magic wand look down to the bottom I can click the clone button wow I can't <laughs> I can't work out where it is looking through on the camera screen. But yeah, so this circle like shows you which bit it's going to clone. So, ta-da! Magic. Except I don't want that there. So, beep beep. Anyway, 
so yeah thank you that was friends in the leaves that told me about that because i basically i was saying like oh procreate doesn't have a clone brush it does i don't think i've ever even used this thing there's like so many things on ah what am i pressing help ah go away go away <laughs> um but yeah so thank you very much um there's just so many things on programs isn't there that you don't even realize is there so yeah thank you um so i'm just gonna keep on drawing watch some gilmore girls not really a lot to report but yeah i i really 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 want to finish the book soon and i don't think i've actually mentioned yet but i actually want to do a kickstarter for it i think that would be like really exciting and yeah i just think it would be like a kind of fun way to launch the book and yeah just to see who's interested in it and like you know get a bit of hype and stuff for it i'm gonna do some research and stuff into that um yeah in other news tea review <laughs> so i have tried most of the teas now my favorite ones i like the tiramisu it could be a little bit more vanilla because it was yeah it's called a vanilla tiramisu i think it could have a bit more vanilla in it but it's still very nice and it's yeah it's actually got coffee beans in it but it's a tea so it's just got like a tiny hint of coffee I don't even like coffee <laughs> but I do actually like coffee flavored things so I think I like it when it's just got like a tiny hint of coffee yeah so that's that's quite nice and that's got it's got a slight sort of chocolatey flavor like quite subtle because I think it's got like little bits of cacao or something in it I don't know if that's how you say it. do you say cacao I'm not sure anyway um the other one that I really like is the I think it's called the sundown mint which I'm guessing they couldn't call it an after eight but yeah it's, it basically tastes like chocolate and mint together so that one's really nice oh and then the the ooh -la, la vanilla is very nice as well yeah I do like I do like a vanilla flavored tea um annoyingly when I ordered it it was half price well not annoying that it was half price but now the price has gone back up so i was like half tempted to bulk buy like my favorite ones from that but i have so much tea <laughs> in my cupboard anyway so i should probably use up the stuff that i have but i think i might just go back and check on the website and um and see in the future if anything's on a deal um yeah my shoulder is hurting right now from seeing badly probably and just drawing so i need to remember to move around aren't my prints in the background though? So they're not my prints they're prints that i've bought from other people i'm sure i've showed them before it is saturday now you might be able to hear tom banging downstairs because he's doing the flooring for our living room which is starting to look really nice speaking of stuff for our living room i have ordered some prints not of my stuff but of somebody else's stuff tom was like emma you need you <laughs> we need to put prints of your stuff up but um i just i love this artist i have actually ordered prints of my work so yeah i've ordered a couple of sample prints of the blueberry illustration i'll pop some things up so you can see like what prints i've got coming i think they're gonna be coming sometime next week so i didn't have time to put them into this vlog but i'll yeah show them in the next vlog oh yeah i'm getting the frog prints that i've got stickers of and the positive plants i thought they'd also make some cool prints also this one which i'm kind of calling uh, blooming tea i did that illustration ages ago and I was kind of thinking about making like cards out of it and then I think I must have just forgotten about that idea but maybe I might actually get some cards of that done what else I'm trying to think what else I ordered 
Oh, I also ordered some more of my giant book series. Um, I had prints of these before and they were really popular. So yeah, I thought that I'd get them done again, but yeah, I'm using a different company this time. So it'd be interesting to see how the prints compare. But anyway, let's have a look at the prints that I've got which I've already seen these. I <laughs> I was so excited, I opened it and then I was like, oh wait, I need to show you guys. So yeah, this is from Cecile, that's her full name, I can't pronounce her surname, I'm so sorry. But yeah, she, she sent me these free stickers as well. So I've ordered two prints and yeah, she sent me this postcard that's got a little note on the back and yeah so they were were some little extras that she put in and then oh it's so nice and then these oh actually let me take them out of the because it's that's a bit reflective you can see my camera in that so here's the first print and it's just so cute it's these two little moth holding lanterns I mean isn't that just adorable so yeah that's one and I need to get some frames for these but yeah I'm planning on putting them um in the living room once that is all sorted and then this is just too cute it is a hedgehog embroidering and the mouse is holding the embroidery thread and then there's this little is it a sparrow or some i'm not too hot on all the different birds but there's this little bird watching and there's toadstools and a little basket and a snail it's so cute i love it these i'm gonna keep safe and i'm gonna get some frames for and then they're gonna go in the living room i kind of showed you the the stickers but here's a close up. So cute. But yeah, I'll leave the links to Cecile's shop and her Instagram because her work is just so nice. I love it so much. I've actually got a squirrel print of hers up in the dining room as well, which you might have seen before. So I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget that I'm gonna do the second sale. So that is gonna be out now as you're watching it. So the link to my Etsy shop is gonna be in the description. If you wanna go and grab yourself a pin that is like, has a little something wrong with it, but you know, still looks really good for a good price, then go and check that out. Tom is hoovering. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that and yeah um there's going to be some exciting studio vlogs coming up because I'm going to be able to show you the prints that I've got um probably in the next studio vlog and also I'm gonna hopefully do sort of some research about doing a kickstarter for this picture book so yeah that's going to be in an upcoming studio vlog as well um but yeah i'm sending you lots and lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week thank you to everybody who watched the premiere as well and thank you if you didn't watch it at the premiere and you're watching it now thank you if you stayed to the end i have already sent you love i'm sending you more love <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. I said you're gonna hear me waffling to myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, I won't be talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to you guys. Anyway, I think I finished my tea. Oh dear. <laughs> More waffling and I don't have tea. When you don't know what to say. <laughs> Just do a random hand gesture. Oh. Oh, I am so sweaty. <laughs> That can be the bloopers. <laughs> Maybe not. Is that gonna stay? My precarious detector's going off. Your tea smells nice. I thought you said your tea smells nice. <laughs> Did you brush them? <laughs> your tea your smells, tea smells nice. nice. My tea smells <laughs> Your tea. Nice. <laughs> and speaking of stuff for stuff, a little bit of that. So blurry. It's better. <laughs> I look quite strange. I look like I'm doing the thing from Pan's Labyrinth. Or is it that? Like where he has the eyes. I was just trying to get it to focus on my face. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying.